as part of our research and standardization in Qualcomm for 5G industry IoT, we are building our little industry uh, production lines in one of the warehouses uh, in San Diego. We are adding more support, more functionality to support industry IoT applications, such as time-sensitive networking, or TSN. This is a, a full-fledged, over-the-air 5G network with our testing base station and terminals. So our little production line, including a conveyor belt and a couple of major components, and the right hand side of the cameras taking all the imagery and send it back to our AI vision center. The vision center then analyze what's going on and send it back in the direction to PLC. That is used to remotely control the behavior of robots and gates in a very precise time manner. Uh, here's the shot of our uh, initial test equipment uh, using our demonstration. There are two metrics we're showing in this uh, screen on the top is how many objects we have detected and how many objects we have missed. Right now, the TSN is on. Everything is fully synchronized, so that all the objects get recognized and are taking actions towards. And below, we are showing the metric of time synchronization offset. Right now, because TSN is turned on, the timing error is in the microsecond level. It's precisely synchronized. Now, if we turn off the TSN, and let's see what happened. Now you're gonna, you're gonna start to say we're missing you know, more and more objects as a result. Uh, and also, very important to look at the time synchronization errors. Unlike before, we are in the microsecond level timing offset. Now it's much, much higher in the millisecond level, which is way beyond the requirement we are looking for. Now if we turn the TSN back on, then everything back to normal, now let's uh, turn our focus to uh, reliability. One of the uh, radio technology we're using in the demo is called Coordinated Multipoint, or COMP, where one device is communicating to multiple points. It's very common in the industry setup or environment where you have a lot of metal structures either fixed or moving. And when certain radio link paths get blocked, your radio quality will degrade. And that's where the benefit of COMP will come in. In this case, you can say, even though when this structure path get blocked, there are still other you know, direction signal coming in, create redundancy. That's where we can ensure reliable communications. We have this device. Currently, the comp is off. There's one pass from this TRP to the device. Right now, everything looks great. There's no blockage. The signal is good. There's no packet error uh, in these plots. Now, what happens if there is a blockage? This is actually what happened in our system, where we use a small robot to pull in a metal sheet to mimic the radio blockage scenarios. What happened as a result of the radio blockage, you're going to see a lot of packet errors. And what if we turn comp on, and then you're going to say transmission from multiple TRP points to the device. Even though one of the link get blocked, you still have redundancy from other directions. As a result, there's no packet error, and uh, everything is working as they should be. In some of the use cases, the requirement of reliability is extremely high, as high as 99.9999% or the six nines. That means one packet loss in one million packets. Obviously, we cannot you know, get a very reliable statistic in a short time period. So what we did was we ran a 24-hour run in the middle of a test run we bring a blockage, and this is a time lapse of what happened within that 24 hours run. You can see from this chart where when comp is off, we got like 99.9 of reliability, which is not bad, but still far from the desired level we are looking for. With comp turned on, we actually was able to achieve the 6.9 reliability in this test run. In this demonstration, we are showing two new features for 5G. The support of TSN, time sensitive networking, and the ultra reliable communications. With these features, we have the opportunity for the first time to replace wire Ethernet cable with wireless and 5G. This is going to open up a huge opportunity for the next industry revolution in terms of flexible manufacturing and uh, productivity increase.